Sedona in North America, a rare place with many electromagnetic boutique spots and dimension gates at one small area. In this episode, you can participate in my meditations and light work in some vortex canyons and rocks of Sedona, so you can receive the energy of the vortexes for your personal growth, even when you don't have the opportunity to visit Sedona. Like in every episode, I have embedded the cosmic light energy in my movie in coordination with higher dimensional light beings. The cosmic light energy is always working and it's not limited to space and time. The light energy is working for each person at another speed, according to their own level of consciousness and understanding, in coordination with his soul. Each image and sound that I've created for this episode has light energy that will work on specific personal issues that a person has. It is a light energy movie for those who want to develop spiritually in this life. Thousands of years ago, there was a spiritual extraterrestrial city with temples on the canyons, built by the Pleiadians and other extraterrestrials. This city was a school of the star people, to teach knowledge and secrets of the universe to those who were able to understand. At one point in time, Sedona was flooded in under seawater for thousands of years, causing the iron in the rocks to rust, and that is why the soil and the rocks in Sedona are red. The temples are eroded and deformed after thousands of years, but some rocks have still the basic raw shape of the temples. Today, the spiritual extraterrestrial city is under Sedona, but in a higher frequency and invisible for Earth humans. Each canyon and rock in Sedona is a vortex place, with many higher dimensional masters living here as spiritual guides. All rocks have crystals inside and outside, and that is increasing the energy of Sedona too. Each canyon in Sedona has vortex energy, and that is why they are used by many extraterrestrial civilizations as dimension gates. They are using them to fly in and out of this planet in one second without being visible to Earth humans. Sometimes they fly in a visible frequency if they want to be seen. In my recording in this case, they were visible only for one second. Our first vortex place is Bell Rock. When you go to a vortex place, it is the best to find a spot with no people where you can focus on your meditation without disturbance. I have chosen a silent spot between Bell Rock and Courthouse Butte Rock to receive the energy of both rocks at the same time. Always be careful with the plants, because some plants can be the home of nature spirits, especially the plants that are twisted like a spiral, because they are staying on top of vortex energies. With all that knowledge in mind, Let's do our first meditation at the Bell Rock Vortex to receive the cosmic energy. Imagine that your energy from your spine is flowing down to the floor like it has roots and it's connecting with this vortex. call all our guides, spiritual guides and light beings to protect us. Now say to yourself, I'm connected with the cosmic light energy of the universe.
and connected with the cosmic vortex energy of Sedona. Call the power of this vortex to cleanse away all energy blockages from our body, mind and energy field. Call the power of this vortex to awaken my psychic abilities. I am open to receive guidance and healing from all positive spirits and light beings in Sedona. So it is forever. I am open to receive guidance and healing from all positive spirits and light beings in Sedona. So it is forever. So here's the result after the energy vortex and the cleansing. All the clouds are gone. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at all the It was completely gray and dark at the beginning. And then literally right after we did our meditation everything got cleared. Sedona is an energetic school for individual and personal growth. It is calling you when your soul is ready and you will get the energy that you need to experience situations in life that can help you to improve your life. But you have to be intelligent enough to use this light energy and not ignore it. The energy of Sedona is working slow and subtle over a long period of time, sometimes months or years. And that is why many people don't realize the energy they have received from Sedona that is working slowly in the background. It is not like the vortex energy in Delphi in Greece, 
where the energy is more stronger and obvious to feel. Our next vortex place is Boynton Canyon Vortex. This is the biggest canyon in Sedona with the strongest vortex energies. The energy of the vortex places in Sedona is a living and natural energy, and therefore it is flexible and it is fluctuating at the vortex spot. It is not constantly fixed at one spot. It is adjusting to the energy of the visitors. You have to stay for a long time at one vortex spot to get in tune with the vortex. If you only run around and play with your phone like a tourist, you will not achieve any significant spiritual connection. In a meditation at a vortex place, the phone should be always shut off completely. You don't want that the phone frequencies disturb you from receiving cosmic spiritual energy. Here in Boynton Canyon, we will visit two energy spots. One is at the beginning of Boynton Canyon, and one is deeper inside the canyon. The first spot at the entrance of Boynton Canyon is a tall spire that the Hopis named Kachina Rock. The Hopis called the extraterrestrial visitors of the past Kachinas. This Kachina Rock is like a guard for Boynton Canyon. My Pleiadian star family is always following me invisible and this time they showed up with a small spaceship over the Kachina Rock to make some pictures for this episode. If you are lucky and you can be alone at the Kachina Rock Vortex, you can sit between the Kachina Spire and the Second Spire for a meditation to receive the Vortex energy. Focus that your energy is connecting down with the vortex energy, your Kundalini energy is connected with the vortex place. Say to yourself, I'm connected with the cosmic light energy of the universe. I'm connected with the cosmic vortex energy of Sedona. I call the power of Boynton Canyon Vortex to cleanse away all energy blockages from my body, mind and energy field. call the power of this vortex to awaken my psychic abilities. I am open to receive guidance and healing from all positive spirits and light beings in Sedona. So it is forever.
Our next meditation is deeper inside the Boynton Canyon. Vortex places like Sedona or Delphi in Greece are guarded by higher spiritual beings of light, and they can see all your thoughts and energies that you have in your consciousness. They are protecting the vortex places to stay clean. And that is why negative people don't feel comfortable in vortex places and want to leave, or they focus all the time on their phone. Because their negative energy is not in tune with the energies of light in the vortex place, they cannot get in tune with the higher energies of light. As I said many times, only light can stay in the light. If you go to energy places or you meet real light workers, the powerful light energy will reveal whatever is within you. Every energy you have inside will come to the surface. You will be forced to clean things in your life much faster. If you have love energy, you will feel more love energy and you can clean blocks easily. If you have suppressed negative emotions like hatred, arrogance, judgment, fear or envy, it will come to the surface too, so you can see what you have to work on. On energy places, you have to be careful what you are thinking and what emotions you have, because it will manifest quicker than on normal places. In that way, everybody learns to be more conscious about the energies he is creating. The energies of Sedona should be used only for spiritual purposes with a loving heart. Without a loving heart, the energy can harm you because you will face your own negativity. If you go to a vortex place with egoistic and arrogant thoughts and emotions, you will increase your own negative energy, you will feel bad, and you will think that this place has no energy. Those who go to Sedona with a spiritual teacher and they are arrogant and jealous to the teacher, they will even attack and insult the teacher because they are not accepting the light. Those people will lose the opportunity to develop simply because they themselves have blocked themselves by using the wrong energy. The right energy is cosmic love in the heart and consciousness. Vortex places are sacred places with invisible light beings, dimension gates, and nature spirits. And when you visit those vortex places, you have to go with the highest respect and real cosmic love energy if you want to get the benefits of the vortex place. When you visit a vortex place, you have to find the best spot for you. You have to walk away from the crowds and feel the spot that is the best for your light work. In this way, you can work better with the light beings of the vortex energy without distractions. We walked until the rock that looks like a Greek temple and then we went inside the forest to do our meditation and receive the stronger energy of Boynton Canyon. Close your eyes and focus your attention on feeling the energy of Sedona that is embedded in this recording. Now say to yourself, I'm connected with the cosmic light energy of the universe. I'm connected with the cosmic vortex energy of Sedona. Visualize the vortex energy is swirling around you and is mixing with your aura. I call the power of this vortex to cleanse away all energy blockages from my body, mind and energy field. I call the power of this vortex 
to awaken my psychic abilities. I am open to receive guidance and healing from all positive spirits and light beings in Sedona. So it is forever. After our meditation, the nature spirits reacted and they sent us a rare wizard of peccary animals. You see, we were talking about this, that the spirits can use animals to come closer and now they are here. It was a whole family and even when they had children with them, they came directly next to us and we're not afraid to stay for a long time looking for food. They look similar to wild pigs, but they are not pigs. The name Peccary is a Native American Indian name and means animal that makes many paths through the forest. This experience was a sign of the nature spirits in the forest to give us the message that the energy we have received in our meditation will create new paths in our life, just like the peccary makes new paths in the forest. When you have an experience like this in the nature after meditation, you should focus in silence on the energy and the feeling in this moment, and think about the message that spiritual guides and nature spirits are giving you. If you start to talk in this special moment all the time about trivial things, it shows that your rational mind is dominating your consciousness and you are not able to focus on spiritual energies to feel them. In special energy moments in a light work with nature spirits, you should use a higher awareness and focus on the magic of that moment to feel the energy. Don't talk about your phone, your job, what you have to do next week or other banal things. You have all year to focus on banal daily things, but in a light work that is only for a few days, you should use all your focus on the light work. Don't ruin a spiritual experience with a low consciousness and unaware behavior. Another sign of the nature spirits was from the air spirits in the sky, directly over us. They formed two clouds that looked like two legs and paws of a cat that are sending energy. You can even see the hair of the paws. All these signs are not by accident. They are created on purpose by nature spirits as a sign. They are reacting to our energy that was in tune with the vortex energy of Boynton Canyon and the energy of nature. The next vortex spot is located behind the chapel vortex. This energy spot is one of the secret spots and it's not crowded like others. That is why it's a good place for meditation. 
Even the walk to the vortex place is a form of meditation if you don't talk much during the walk. A vortex place is increasing your connection to your soul and is increasing whatever you have inside you that needs to be healed. If you have egoistic, arrogant behavior patterns, they will come to the surface so you can see them and work on them to remove them. Intelligent people can recognize this and are removing the negative patterns in their consciousness and therefore they are developing spiritually. Others with strong arrogance will not accept that they have to work on themselves and they will even go against those who are in tune with the light energy of the vortex. It is their free will not to use the opportunity that the universe gave them to develop, and they will continue to block themselves because of egoistic behavior. If you go to a vortex place, you cannot hide your true energy and true consciousness. You cannot outsmart the energy of light. The energy of light is the energy of the cosmic awareness, the energy called God. And trying to go against the cosmic awareness is a sign of a lower consciousness. Real spiritual people are always acting in tune with the energy of light. And they are thankful for any teaching that the cosmic awareness is giving them in order to rise the consciousness even more. This spiritual development you cannot learn by just having the wish. It can only come by the real interaction of cosmic light energy and using it with cosmic love in the mind. A real spiritual teacher will tell you where you have to work on, where you have to remove negative behavior patterns, and where you have to transform negative karma in order to develop spiritually. A fake person who thinks that he is a spiritual teacher will only feed your egoistic wishes and will tell you how great you are and that you are perfect and that you don't have to work on yourself at all. Those fake people want to have many followers and therefore they will only tell people how great they are. They don't care about your spiritual development. They care only to be in the spotlight and be admired. But real spiritual teachers care only about helping others to develop, and they don't care if they are in the spotlight or not. They tell you what you need to know to develop yourself and not what your ego wants to hear. And that is why earth humans don't like real spiritual teachers and even insult them. They don't like to hear what they have to repair in their lives, repair the behavior, remove negative karma, or develop the consciousness in order to reach the frequencies of light. And this is how many earth humans are losing the opportunity to develop spiritually in the current life and are forcing themselves to repeat the life lessons in the next life again. The universe has spiritual laws of energy to maintain the clean energy of light and it's not wise to go against the light. It is not wise to go against the cosmic awareness, the energy called God. And breathe in deeply, and each time you breathe in, you take the energy of this vortex in you and it's turning like a tornado. Feel how you are charged with this energy of this vortex. All your aura is moving and swirling filled with the energy of this vortex. And now say to yourself, I call the power of this vortex to cleanse myself from all bad energies that are blocking me 
in the physical level and in the energetic level. I call all spiritual masters and light beings to protect me and help me right now in this vortex. this vortex to awaken all my psychic abilities. down on the rock and touch the rock to be more connected. to receive all help from the universe that I need.
After the meditation, the nature spirits and the guardians of the vortex send us a hawk that was flying circles over us to thank us for our energy work. For the next lightwork meditation, we went to the Cow Pies Trail Vortex to charge with the cosmic energy of Sedona. The energy of this vortex is embedded in this recording, so you can charge with this energy too, if you focus on the energy and let it flow in your heart. Focus on connecting with the vortex of this place. And say inwardly, with the power of this vortex, I cleanse away all blocking energies in my body and mind. All my chakras are activated. I call the power of this vortex to activate my psychic abilities. When we did our light work at the airport vortex, we had a beautiful full rainbow as a gift from the nature spirits. This rainbow was a reaction of the nature spirits to our light work energy, and it did not appear by accident. Nature spirits are creating rain clouds to create a rainbow as a sign and energy gift. This energy is also embedded in the recording 
and can be felt with an open heart. This moment had a special energy, so there was even a spaceship of my Pleiadian star family watching us from the distance. The ship was in a frequency that was only visible with a camera, because at that time the airport vortex spot was crowded with tourists. A few moments later, I catch a Pleiadian ship coming out of the clouds next to the rainbow. Another ship came from the other side. And in the next picture, both spaceships are next to the rainbow. At another day, there was a spaceship next to the Cathedral Rock Vortex. Our next vortex point in Sedona is called Rachel's Knoll. This is also a good place for silence and meditation, without crowds and noises. When you go to the vortex places like in Sedona or in Delphi in Greece, the light energy of the vortex will try to clean any part of yourself that needs cleansing. Cosmic light energy is trying to bring always balance in your energies of your physical body, energetic body, and your consciousness and emotions. Only when you look at the problem, you can work on it and heal it. And the vortex energy of Sedona will try to help you look at the issue that needs healing. Those who are intelligent will accept this help and will be thankful. They will work on themselves and will develop themselves. Being in tune with the energy of light means development and progress. Being in negative energy means stagnation and no development. Vortex places are portals of the planet that have increased energy of light and can help a human who is ready and enough developed to grow spiritually even more and carry the vortex energy in the own body and spread it to other places of planet Earth. When your soul makes the agreement with the planet, you get the opportunity through different ways to visit a vortex point at a specific time in order to receive the vortex frequencies and work in tune with the vortex to send the healing energy to the planet. The vortex places of Sedona have sound frequencies that are not audible for the physical ears. These vortex frequencies are adjusting the energy centers of your body to be a better carrier of higher energies. This can come for some people fast, and for some this can come slowly after weeks or months. This is an individual process that depends on how much cosmic energy one has already developed in his soul and how much higher energy his body can handle. The human who is energetically and spiritually ready has to allow the transformation process to become a useful vortex and light carrier, not only for the personal development, but also for the society of planet Earth, to remove and transform negative energies and bring cosmic light to the planet. When you watch my light work in Sedona in this video, you are receiving the healing energy of the vortex points too. If you are allowing them to help you with a loving heart and consciousness and become a carrier of cosmic light energy.
So we 